Hey, good morning, 60. How's everybody today? Oh, God, I sounded kind of like, uh, like out of breath on my last couple of videos. Yeah, I've had like uh, bronchitis really bad, so I had to go to the hospital the other day, get that taken care of. And like a guy, of course, you know, I wait till the last minute till you're almost drawing your last breath and, you know. So, but I got some uh, breathing treatments and they gave me steroids, so the guns are back. Okay. Well, not that kind of steroids. Um, so anyway, uh, what do I got coming up? I go, uh, this is a big week. Um, um, so I want, I'm talking more about like who I am, right? So, uh, um, and not so much always what I think, but who I am. Um, here's what's going on. Uh, you know, I coach high school basketball for 20, 25 years. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, was, was fortunate to learn from two great people, my high school coach, Coach Barner. And then I, after uh, I went on to college, then I, uh, um, uh, I coached seventh and eighth grade for, for uh, coach uh, for Coach Watchko and I was Jamie Battles and Eddie House and Mike Lee and and DJ and and Barry and that whole group of guys you know just just a, and Rod Thompson just a great bunch of guys you know you never forget that first group of guys you coach you know and then I went on to be the uh, be with the JB coach uh, and then I became a. Uh, a head coach, and I was too young and too immature to be a head coach, and though I coached really well, um, I ended up getting fired, and I should have been fired. I was just too full of myself and too immature and and uh, and didn't know how to bend at all, um, you know what I mean? Um, and so, but I, I, <clears throat> but after that, you know, um, after that I settled back into it and, and really became pretty good at it and got successful at it. Where I really made my mark was running and owning a... Born to Run Basketball Camp. Um, as a young coach, I worked every basketball camp and I, uh, that I could from, you know, Five Star, where I learned from Garf and Will Klein and those guys and Joe Butler at Metro and, and really, really, you know, took their best ideas and made them my own camp and was very successful at it for a lot of years and, uh, <coughs> um, and really, really enjoyed it. Um, the weird thing is, is I don't like basketball. Um, it's a beautiful game that is, uh, has become a corrupt business to its core, uh, right down to the fifth and sixth grade level, um, because of something called AAU travel basketball. Just a horrible thing, horrible, horrible thing. Um, but that's that's uh, what I think. That's not important. But what I did do is I coached a long time, very successfully, and um, so what happened? Um, what's, what's happening this week? Oh, so this week is the uh, um, um, Bas Pittsburgh Basketball uh, Hall of Fame dinner, which I'm invited to because I'm a member of the Pittsburgh Basketball Hall of Fame. Um, I think what happened was is Johnny G, and Johnny G is a special character in, in, in uh, the B Pittsburgh basketball community. He, uh, he runs the Pittsburgh Basketball Club and is the head of the... Uh, the foundation, you know, of uh, the committee, and you know, he called me. He's like, "Hey, Jimmy Hoy, you know, we're gonna put you in the Hall of Fame this year, and and uh, you know, you were our first choice." And I'm like, "John," and I'm like, yeah. and he's like, "And yeah, we can't wait to see you. And you this is well deserved." And I'm like, "John, you need a white guy, right?" He's like, "What?" And I was like, "John, you don't have any white guys this year, right?" So yeah, it's all white guy. Hell yeah, I'll be there, John. Sure. And he's like, "No, not. so that's funny." But no, let me tell you the truth about how I really got into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Um, um, and I don't deserve to be there. Um, it's one of the most humbling experiences of my life. And fortunately, I was able to share it with my family and some teammates and and um, and, uh, and my high school coach. It was, it was a nice thing that at least they got to say, you know, to do that. And uh, <laughs> basically... Um, um, my speech was about, there were some great speeches, you know, and, and uh, by some players are far better than me and the coaches are far, far more deserving than me. Um, but, um, well, I was a better player than most of them. Um, so, um, so here's what happened. So here's my speech basically was telling them how, telling them, and I'm in this big banquet room and it's telling them how I found out that I got inducted into the Pittsburgh Basketball Hall of Fame. And this is basically, basically a true story, though I certainly added some comic elements to it. Not that it needed many, um, but it was, this is basically the truth. <coughs> I was home 
I was home on a Friday and Johnny G calls me. Johnny G's got this like DJ voice. Like, hey, hello, you've just been our grand prize winner. Like that kind of voice on the phone, you know? And he calls and he, and he introduces, he doesn't introduce himself. I haven't talked to Johnny for a while. Like, Jimmy Hoy, just giving you a call to let you know that you've been selected to be in this year's uh, Pittsburgh basketball class of 2013, uh, blah, 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 whatever it was, you know? And so I was like, I just hung up on him. And he called me right back and said, Jimmy, this is Johnny G. Don't hang up on me again. I was like, Johnny, what's up? He goes, just want to let you know, I talked to Whoa, talked to a couple of guys. Uh, you know, you made the list this year. Uh, you're going to be uh, inducted into the Pittsburgh Basketball Hall of Fame. I was like, Johnny, are you, Johnny, are you messing with me, John? That's not, not cool. You know, he's like, oh, no, 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 you're, yes. He says, in fact, Saturday morning, me and Randy Cosgrove, uh, we're do, doing our sports radio show out of Beaver County, we're doing the whole shows on that. So, you know, I hope you tune in and listen to it. So... That's on Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. And that's down in Beaver County. Now, and I live in Pittsburgh. And so what happens is this. Is, um, is So I get up at, at 7 o'clock in the morning, because that's when this show was on, where Johnny G and Coach and uh, Randy Cosgrove are, are like probably in like a basement with like aluminum foil on their head. Because uh, they're the only two people listening to this show and producing it. Um, so, but I, I run out to my car at seven o'clock in the morning and I want to listen to this show and it's, you know, they're 15, 16 miles away from here. So, so I, I, uh, I, I'm messing, messing around with the radio and I, I finally hear it. I kind of hear it. Now remember it's Saturday and, uh, it's, I think, and I ran out to the car because we have a carport behind our house. I ran out to the car in my box of shorts and a hoodie. Okay. And no shoes. So now the station comes in. I can hear it for a second. And, you know, I turn the car on. It's a little cold out. Uh, you know, I can hear it for a second. And there they are. And then it fades out. And then they're talking a little. And then also in this year's year class uh, from Shelby High School. And I'm kind of hearing. I can't hear. So I, I back the car out. And I figure, well, I'm in a low-lying area in Pittsburgh. You know, I'll just kind of drive up the hill a little bit. Maybe the reception will be better. Makes sense, right? Um, probably not. Um, but so I start like driving around, like in my underwear, um, driving around in my underwear, listening to, trying to listen, pick up this radio station. And before you know it, I end up at Perrysville High School up on top of the hill at Perrysville. That's probably the highest point over here on the north side. And, uh, and, and I finally get the station to tune in. <clears throat> and I listen to the last 15 minutes of the show. And they run down the list one more time. And it's so-and-so from Shenley High School and this kid from Moon High School. And, you know, and, and, this, and this coach from Alderdice and it's just going down a list. And they say, oh, and that, that's it. That's a wrap. Uh, that's a wrap. And um, let's cut to commercial and, uh, and that's it. And they start playing their closing out music. And I'm like, you have got to be fucking kidding me, Johnny. That is the cruelest thing. Like, uh, uh, I was just like heartbroken. Really, I was heartbroken. Um, and of course it creeps into your head. Of course I don't belong in the Pittsburgh Basketball Hall of Fame. What? What are you thinking? You know, are you that stupid? Then they come back from commercial. Um, um, and, and, and Randy Costco goes, and listen, last but not least, let's not forget, born and run camp director and high school basketball coach Jimmy Hoy will also be joining this year's class. And I absolutely go crazy. I'm not going to lie. I am, I am not going to lie. Now, remember, I've known about this for a while, and I haven't mentioned it to a soul because it felt like a hoax to me, you know? And I was like, so now I'm just going crazy in a car, right? And, of course, who pulls up right behind me but a Pittsburgh police officer? And that's the truth. So the first person I got to tell that I was inducted into the Pittsburgh Basketball Hall of Fame was a Pittsburgh, was a Pittsburgh police officer. Now, as he gets out of the car and he's walking to me, and his big black guy, he catches his belt up like this. And I'm like, man, I hope you got this guy knows basketball. <laughs> you know. So as he's walking to the car, I realize I'm sitting in front of a public school in my underwear. There you go. That's how you go to jail, right? 
right? That's how you end up on Megan's list or whatever the heck that is. Um, so anyway, um, he comes up the car, he tapped on the window, pop, 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 and he's like, and hey, it's better be good. And I said, officer, this is a good, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And uh, um, so I told him the story. And I'm not sure he believed it until I mentioned uh, the names of some of the guys from uh, from an area where he grew up. So, uh, so it was pretty. It was a pretty, a pretty amazing day. Uh, the banquet was a great banquet, and uh, again, I get to go this Friday and see uh, see friends and fam friends and and family members of that basketball community. So that's something I really look forward to, and uh, and I still can't believe um, they picked me. Um, I wouldn't have. <laughs> okay. All right. Peace. Be sixty.